All right. We're joined by head coach Mark Mitchell. Coach, if you want to start the opening statement. Yeah, I'm just uh, I feel fortunate and lucky uh, to get out of this one. Um, you know, they, they came out hard against us today, and we just had to match their intensity. Uh, I think we did a good job of that throughout the game. I think we were much more consistent uh, on our second day versus uh, our first day playing them. Coach, you held Canisius to just 22% from the field today. What was so key on the defensive end to disrupting their shots? Well, we, we, we talked about what, what, what happened uh, last night. Uh, we felt like we, they, they got some uh, open looks on us. Uh, we didn't defend well. We watched the film today. We went over it today. We went through a walkthrough today. And uh, we, we just wanted to pay more attention to details on, on day two. Coach, did you notice something by watching the film today? I alluded to that on the telecast that I knew you guys had watched film. I noticed you went a lot more 2-3. Um, was that something you saw on film that really disrupted them last night and you employed it this evening? Uh, well, I, honestly, not not really. Um, I, I use it as a strategy. Uh, I wanted just to mix things up a little bit. Um, I, I knew, like, we're, we're a man-to-man -man team. That's who we are. That's our identity. We're going to play. We're going to pressure you. Uh, but we wanted to just show a little bit of zone uh, just to kind of throw them off a little bit. So it was more of a strategy. Uh, we just happened to play a little bit more zone tonight than I thought we would. Coach Ty Thornton, 13 points on six and nine shooting tonight. How good was it to see her kind of get going offensively after she had struggled a little bit in the first few games? Ty Thornton, uh, yeah, Ty, she can she can get going at any time. You know, she's a little firecracker. Uh, she can get going at any time. Um, you know, it was great to see her. I mean, you know, we're, you know, this, everybody knows we're, we, we are uh, a different team with her on the floor as opposed to out without her on the floor. So everybody knows that. Uh, but, uh, you know, she looked great tonight, and um, uh, I love that kid. Coach, you seem to have really assembled some great pieces this year with your team, rebounding, size, speed, shooting. Um, you know, Christmas is coming up next week. If you had one thing to wish for for Christmas, what would that be? Oh, that's a good question, Coach. <laughs> uh, I thought that was going to be the easy question, Coach. <laughs> no, I, I really wish that uh, uh, seriously, uh, every everyone, you know, my team and everyone in, in, in college athletics, uh, we can just stay stay safe and stay healthy, and and um, you know, it, it, you know, it's really really about the student the student athletes. Uh, you know, hopefully, we can you know finish the season off and. And, and the student athletes can have a great experience in, uh, in college this year. Starting off 4 0 this year, just how good does that feel to kind of get off to conference play on such a great night? I mean, it, you know, it feels good. It's regular season. It feels good that, you know, we're, we're, we're starting off 4 0. Um, you know, uh, you know Ion is a good team with, you know, with, uh, with great coaching and, and, and Kenesha's is so tough with, uh, you know, Scott is a great coach as well. So, uh, you know, it feels good to, to get off of that, but we know it's a long road, you know, it's a long road. Um, you know, we got to play the Manhattans of the world and, and the Marist of the world and the Quinnipiacs of the world. So um, it's a daunting task in this MAC, MAC conference. Uh, there's so many great players, uh, so much great coaching in this league. So uh, we just want to take it one day at a time, one step at a time and, uh, you know, we, we, we want to be playing our best ball in March. Coach, last question. Going into the new year, you got four road games coming back. And I kind of mentioned on the telecast that might be pivotal in terms of jumpstarting you guys the new year and beginning to really see what exactly where you guys stand in the conference. Talk about those four road games and how important it is for your team to play well coming up in 2021 in January. Yeah, I mean, you know, for, for us, I mean, think about it. we all of our games are road games. You know, our, our, our home gym, the Anatelli Center is being renovated. So we're playing at NJCU. So we got to travel down the road to play. We don't have a home. So every game is a home is a, is a road game for us. 
So that's our mentality. It, it's not going to affect us one way or the other, who we play, where we play, when we play them. Uh, we, we, we're going to play. We're going to be, you know, mentally tough playing these games. Um, yeah, it's a pivotal, you know, I think we, we got Manhattan, uh, New Year's, uh, and then the following week we got to go to Fairfield. So, you know, two of the top teams in the league. <laughs> so this is what we're, we're here for. We're, we're, we're looking forward to it. So uh, I can't wait. My, my players can't wait. The staff can't wait. We can't wait to get after it with, with uh, those great opponents. Anything else, guys? Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you all. Take care. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Happy holidays.